Once upon a time, a virus infection became the leading health threat facing the human species. After tormenting mankind for centuries, a massive global vaccination campaign finally put an end to the years of horrors in 1977, making it the first disease to be ever eradicated. This feared infection that caused the death of millions of people and disfigured those who survived is smallpox. Smallpox was one of the world's most dreaded plagues. It killed as many as 30% of its victims, most of them children, and was also responsible for the deaths of more than 300 million people since 1900 alone. The patients who survived smallpox were permanently immune to a second infection, but they faced a lifetime of disfigurement and in some cases, even blindness. Welcome to the Prepladder Neat YouTube channel. Today, on our How It Happened series, we'll take you on a journey through centuries when smallpox wreaked havoc on mankind. Let's explore all about smallpox and how it led to the discovery of the very first vaccine that eradicated the disease forever. Overview Smallpox, also called variola major, is an acute infectious disease that is caused by the variola virus. It is a member of the orthopox virus family, which also includes cowpox and monkeypox. The disease derives its name from the raised bumps. The bumps first develop into fluid-filled lesions, followed by painful pus-filled ones. History. The origin of smallpox as a natural disease is lost in prehistory. The earliest evidence of smallpox circulating in human populations is based on the recovery of variola virus DNA from teeth and bones of human remains dated to 600 to 1050 BC. Smallpox was introduced to Europe sometimes between the 5th and the 7th century when epidemics in the Middle Ages were quite frequent. The disease greatly affected the development of Western civilization. A huge pandemic in 1614 reached Europe spreading towards the Middle East, which kept rising throughout Europe between the 17th and 18th centuries. In the 18th century in Europe, 4 lakh people died annually of smallpox and one third of the survivors went blind. The symptoms of smallpox, or the speckled monster as it was known in the 18th century England, appeared suddenly and the consequences were devastating. The case fatality rate varied from 20% to 60% and left most survivors with disfiguring scars. The fatality rate in infants was even higher, approaching 80% in London and 98% in Berlin during the late 1800s. Smallpox affected humans until the late 20th century, until it was finally eradicated with the help of a vaccine developed by Dr. Edward Jenner. Symptoms of Smallpox Smallpox symptoms went through several stages over the course of the illness. The initial symptoms included sore throat followed by headaches and high fever, which also led to weakness or fatigue. Other symptoms included severe body pain, vomiting, chills, leading to lack of appetite. The initial symptoms would last about four days, followed by an eruptive phase. This involved a rash that began in the throat before spreading to the face and other parts of the body. The rash consisted of lesions that would grow and develop into deep, round pustules. These pustules would crust and form scabs before falling off after about 14 days. Often. They would leave scars in people who survived. Treatment and Eradication of Smallpox Humans had long been trying to find a cure for the deadly smallpox. Several herbal remedies as well as cold treatment and special cloths were used to either prevent or treat smallpox. One of the most widely used methods of controlling smallpox was inoculation. Inoculation refers to the subcutaneous installation of smallpox virus into non-immune individuals. After the process, People usually develop the symptoms associated with smallpox such as fever and a rash. However, fewer people died from it than if they had acquired smallpox naturally. It was in 1796 when the English doctor Edward Jenner noticed that milkmaids who had gotten cowpox were immune to smallpox. 
Jenner also knew about inoculation and guessed that exposure to cowpox could be used to protect against smallpox. To test this theory, Dr. Jenner took materials from a cowpox sore on a milkmaid Sarah Nelm's hand and inoculated it into the arm of James Phipps, the nine-year-old son of Jenner's gardener. Months later, Jenner exposed Phipps several times to variola virus, but Phipps never developed smallpox. More experiments followed and in 1801, Jenner published his treatise on the origin of the vaccine inoculation. Vaccination became widely accepted and gradually replaced the practice of variolation. Current Scenario The eradication of smallpox was a major success story for global health for several reasons. It was a disease that was endemic and caused high mortality rates across all continents but was also crucial to advances in the field of immunology. The smallpox vaccine was the first successful vaccine to be ever developed. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned some new interesting facts. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and do let us know in the comments below which disease would you like us to cover next.